Welcome back, whippersnappers, to the next episode of The Good News Gang, The Fruits of the Spirit, Part 6. Goodness. Hi, I'm Robbie. Today we are going to talk about the next fruit of the Spirit. It's called goodness. Today is a little different because I need your help. I have some letters here from my friends all over the world and they want to know whether each of these things show the fruit of the Spirit, goodness or not. So when I read each of these letters, you tell me if these are good things or bad things to do. Okay. <coughs> Bjorn Bolesupski from Iceland writes, The other day I was ice fishing, and my friend Helge slipped on the ice and got his mittens all wet. I helped him up and ran back home to get my other pair of mittens for him. Was this a good or a bad thing to do? What do you think, kids? It's good! Next one. Nellie Know-It-All from London, England wrote this in an email to me the other day. Dear Robbie, my sister Beatrice caught a bit of a cold on the day we were supposed to go to my favorite restaurant for dinner. We had to stay home because she was sick. I screamed at my mom and dad and said, it's not fair. Then I ran up the stairs to my room and slammed the door. Did I show goodness to my family? Kids, how about it? No. Okay, so far so good. Here's one from Franz Zuperduper in Oberndorf, Germany. He writes, Dear Robbie, I need your advice about my brother. He and I were in the candy store one day looking at yummy marzipan candy. And when nobody was looking, Hans, that's my brother's name, stuck some of the candy in his pocket. When we left the store, he laughed because he got away with it. I felt horrible. I don't think that was an example of goodness. Do you, kids? No. We've got time for a couple more. This one is from Kim Sung in Tokyo, Japan. She writes, Robbie, yesterday some people were picking on this girl because they didn't like the clothes she was wearing. They had her so upset she was crying. I went over to her and told them to stop it. They stopped and walked away. I stayed with her and helped her stop crying. Then I walked to class with her. Do you think what I did demonstrated goodness? Yes. Wow, I sure am learning a lot about what goodness and what is not. It sounds like goodness has to do with helping others and showing them to love. Let's look at this last letter from Hector Deflector in El Paso, Texas. He says, Robbie, I got a problem as big as Texas. I was doing my math test the other day, and since I didn't know the answer to a couple of questions, I copied what the real smart girl next to me had. Nobody noticed, but I felt awful. What do I do? Hmm. Well, kids, do you think what Hector did was good or bad? What is it called when you do something bad that God doesn't want us to do? Sin. What can we do about sin? Ask God for forgiveness through Jesus, his son. So we know what to tell Hector. He needs to confess his sin to Jesus and ask to be forgiven. He also needs to keep his eyes on his own test from now on. If there are any of you who don't know Jesus but want to, please talk to Pastor Karen. That's all for today. God bless you. Thank you for joining us at the Good News Gang. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to seeing you again next week for the next episode with the Good News Gang. Bye, everybody.